everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got a really big kit to share with you guys today. A very big kit. This is the brand new Trumpeter 1 200th scale RMS Titanic. And as you can see, it's massive. And the hull is the size of this box right here. So this is over five feet long. Uh, also, this is the kit that is coming with the LED light kit on it. So you'll be able to light the ship up. Uh, which would look really, really cool on this thing here. So there's, it's full of photo etch and just massive number of parts too. I think there's like 1,300 plus parts on this kit. So what we'll do today is we'll open this bad boy up, take a look inside, show you all the different parts that are involved with it, and uh, just really go to town on it. Also, I also have this right here. This is a new... Well, a fairly new kit. I know these have been out for a short period of time, but we finally were able to get them here in the United States on both my website and the uh, and in the store. These are the Panzer Granata 39 um, Tiger tank shells, basically. So it's a one-to-one -one scale Tiger tank shell. Uh, this is obviously a kit. There are four parts inside of it, but it is still technically a model kit. And I've actually got one that I'm building up right now. Uh, we'll show you later on. It's not much of a build video because there's four parts to it. So it's just a matter of painting it. Uh, there's stencils inside, so you can really make it look just like an authentic tank shell. Very excited to see these. And I, like I said, I know they've been out for a little bit of time, but they were kind of tough for us to get a hold of over here. But we do have them, as well as the Titanic. The Tam Titanic is actually available now and is available on our website. We have a great price on it there, and we also have them here in the store. So let's take a look inside these great kits, and let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the hull. Uh, it is one big legitimate bathtub style hull on this ship. And I'll show you some detail shots close up in a few seconds here. But I wanted to show you how massive this, this piece is. And it's just incredible looking. And some great looking detail that they put on the side there. All the welded plates. Or actually riveted plates. That's right. That's These are all riveted plates on this. On the real one I'm talking about. So... That's it right there. So let's take a closer look now at the uh, the detail on it. Get you up close and personal on the uh, on the way all the detail is, and you can see that the plate is actually layered too. So there are high spots and low spots, like on a uh, a real ship of this type. Right up to the bow. Okay, if you've never looked inside a big ship kit from Trumpeter, inside the kit there are a bunch of little boxes that almost look like kits in themselves, and they hold all the parts in there. And you can see there's the four little boxes and then the one big long box that holds the hull. Okay, so let's just take a look at all the different parts that come in the first couple of boxes. Uh, first of all, you get a giant stand, Titanic, Queen of the Ocean, okay, uh, some of the supporting deck pieces, there's no detail carved into these, so I'm assuming that you must build stuff up on top, and because there's no detail, I'm not going to open these, these are just, we'll just leave them sealed up like that, but the rest of the parts will start opening up here, so we can move this out of the way so you can see it better, so we've got all of our screws, these are the uh, the little portions on the back that will hold the screw coming out of there, away from the the, uh, the ship. The rudder. God, what a tiny rudder for such a big ship. And we have some of the actual superstructure here, where all the windows. This is probably where the uh, where the re restaurant I'm calling it, where the dining room is based on the type of windows there. So you've got some big pieces like that. And then you're gonna get lots and lots of these big, big pieces here, as you can see. Give you a general idea how that looks. And then the pieces only get bigger from here on out. 
at least in this box, I should say. So here is some of the detail in this. And also keep in mind too, there's lots of photo etch in this kit as well. And nice, nice rivet detail. I think this is gonna build up to a pretty spectacular looking model. And then one other big section of uh, all the, the windows. Once again, nice rivet detail throughout. Okay, next box open. And I'll let you know, when you get these pieces, all of these come wrapped in a foam to help, help protect. And then of course in a bag too, to help protect all these little delicate pieces. And you can see some like the uh, piping. These are the masts right here for Titanic and like window frames, things like that. So some really nice, really intricate, detailed parts. Next sprue we're going to take a look at are the all too famous or infamous, we'll call them lifeboats, or sure the lack of lifeboats that made it so uh, infamous. And hopefully you can see the detail on the lifeboats there. We got the nice ribbing on it. And I'm assuming these are all the lifeboat davits, all the stuff that makes up that. There are some funnels in here. Looks like the anchor. And then part of the funnel also, there's, there's multiple sprues of this. And I believe the funnel goes right here because it came in a separate little bag, but we'll show you that in a minute. Actually, this is the little bag. This is too small to be the funnel. This must be something else on there. Uh, and there's only two of them on there as well. We also have another sprue here with a different type of lifeboat. Uh, more funnels or some of the accessories. These are the tie-offs right here that'll go on the deck. And once again, when I'm showing you these sprues, there's multiples of all these. The other lifeboat sprue, there was four of those. There are two of these right here, but they're exactly the same. So it's no use showing you each one of those. But that gives you an idea of some of the accessories that'll go on deck. And also in that same box, we have our stern deck. We have our bow of the, with the deck on it. And some more structures. So you can see, that's what I was telling you about. There's so many large pieces like that. So it should be, I would probably imagine, fairly kind of difficult to put together until you get to the photo etch part. Okay, we've got the next box open. We've got a little bit more of the superstructure to show you. And as you can see, this portion has the deck um, carved into it. And I found the funnels too. The funnels came in other bags. you the rivet detail on it and there are a couple other little tiny superstructures we're going to leave in this bag just so we don't lose any of them there but next thing i'm going to show you are the big pile of photo etch that comes in this so to start off with right here we've got uh deck railings it's nice that they're such a big size too i think they're going to be a lot easier to work with when you go to super glue them and on the other side of that there is nothing uh the other one sided here we go so this one has a bunch of all your window frames. So that is gonna be some nice detail, especially when you light it up from behind. We've got our ladders, or our steps, I should say. Um, ladders right here. Looks like to be a duplicate sheet here. So you get two of that sheet. Actually, I take that back. Looks like there's gonna be four of that sheet. Yeah, that would make sense, because these are for the funnels. So the ladder, so there'll be probably another one on the other side. Yeah, so you get four giant sheets of photo etch for that. And then another set of railings. And these are the uh, the rat lines like type thing for the, the mass. So you can see you get quite a bit of photo etch to go along with this kit here. And this, this is gonna probably represent the majority of the ridiculous number of parts when you know when it gets to 1300 parts, it's because of all of this stuff. The actual plastic, if you're looking at here, there's not a heck of a lot. I mean, it's still a decent amount of work, but this is where all of this stuff is really gonna take some time to put together. 
And finally, I'll just give you guys a quick look at the instructions. So there is a separate instruction book for the assembly. It's all for the LED assembly, excuse me. And it's showing how to do all the soldering, what's what on inside of all this stuff. How each one of the soldering, um, like the light bars and things like that, are you're put inside, how all of that goes together. So it looks to be pretty, uh, pretty thorough, showing how all the lights are going to fit into place here. How to set up all the wiring, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Probably time consuming. And then you get this big massive uh, instruction book, which you've seen those from Trumpeter before. Now I'll just show you this too, because I was kind of interested in this. This is a a aftermarket kit that's coming out it looks like in march uh, so next month and it is going to be a super extensive set of pe parts plus metal screws uh some other metal parts and then a complete wooden deck so this is being done in association with uh, pontos which makes a lot of those kits so we'll see uh how much this is going to be and what all of this entails because this part and this part really interests me a lot i don't know about how much more photo etch i'd want to put into this okay and the last big giant box is these long pieces of deck and i'm just going to kind of pan and just show you how long they go and you can see some of the grand staircases here you can just imagine jack and rose running up and down those right there or maybe it's this one i'm not sure which one it was but so this is this itself is close to three feet there is another section which is still in the bag here which is also about two and a half feet and finally a third section and some of these are just going to be support so we're not going to open this there's no detail on this other than it's some of the support to hold you know some of those super structures that we were talking about so no reason to open those but that just shows you the the number of parts that are are in this kit well there you go guys there is a quick look at the rms titanic in 200 scale from trumpeter uh I hesitate to say it like this. The reason I opened this kit and did the review for you guys today is because this actually is my kit right here. And, but I'm not making any promises right now when I'm actually gonna get around to building it and setting it up. Because obviously to do it right is gonna take a long period of time and I have so many other videos and projects ahead of me. Uh, that's why I'm not gonna promise any time when we're gonna start on this. It might be something we start on a little bit at a time. Now that I have enough room in my store here, I might work on it a little bit, put it away, and it's going to be kind of a long-term project. But I do plan on building one. Uh, I love this um, the kit. I love the Titanic and all the history involved with that. So to have that on display, especially lit up here in the store, I think would look really incredible. Now, this piece right here. So like I said, we just got these in on our website and in the store here. And these are the 88 millimeter Panzer Granada uh, 39s. So they're an armor piercing round for a Tiger tank. Now this is a one to one scale obviously model, and there are only four parts. So there's the, the shell, the, uh, the projectile, the end cap, and then the fuse for the bottom down there. So the, or excuse me, the primer for the, for the bottom. So what I'll show you right here is I started to paint and build mine. Now building wasn't that much for it right there. We just popped this bottom plate on. There's the, uh, the primer for the bottom, and I'm painting all of this right now. We just painted the brass on here. We also have a full set of stencils that we're going to be able to go ahead and put on here as well, so really give it an authentic look. And I have to put more coats of paint on here, and then I have to paint the tip white on this one as well to make it accurate for it. But look at that bad boy right there. That's going to look really cool. I just... This is a cool conversation piece here in the store. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.